Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome back again. Another headline reads Insecurity. Let's forget about 2023 men fences. Governor Omahi of Ebony State. Yes, before we continue with this important news, please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for so doing. Thank you for coming by. Hit the red button. Each time I publish new video, you'll be the first to be notified. I thank you for so doing. God will bless you. To my old subscribers, I thank you for supporting this channel. It's, it's like it's getting clearer now to these politicians that all is not well. That all is not well. Their eye is getting clearer. So let's go to the main news anyway, before we continue the analysis. The chairman of Southeast Governors Forum and the governor of Ebony State, Engineer David Omahe, Friday called on politicians at all levels to forget about their ambition in 2023 and focus on finding ways towards solving the current security challenges facing the nation. The governor stated this in Abar Kaleki while commissioning pick up vans and Siena buses for security agencies, including a Bago Southeast security outfit in the state, a Bago that doesn't exist. Umahi, who harped on the engagement of various groups or regions in the country to find out the reason behind their agitation and challenges facing them, stressed the need for peace and stability of the nation. First time I'm hearing about Umahi. <laughs> I mean, pleading for, for people to, to, to make peace with agitators <laughs> is, is serious then. Let's continue. Now, the resources this nation can build the nation. What do, do we do with the resources? This is the time to engage and discuss. All is not well with our nation. Our youths are angry. Mm -hmm. Let's forget about 2023 and men fences. It is not about the North versus the South. There is a need to identify the problem. He said, I want to thank the SSG for the purchase of the vehicles. We will be able to share these ones. I commend the security agencies for their commitment to the protection of lives. No criminal or IPOP ESN is after the governor. What happened is pure criminality around the airport area. I have gone there. We have reinforced security there. I have directed the stakeholders to hold a meeting in that regard. It's an opportunity for the community to have met and assured us of security there. Our nation is at crossroads. The nation is quite challenged. All leaders must take responsibility. The problem is that we leaders have failed to secure the future of our children. <laughs> now, now it's getting clearer to them. Most demands of the people in the Southeast are legitimate. Thank you. We have to sit down and discuss. Too late. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Let's fish out where any bandits are. I want to discuss this with them. We can make peace. Forget it. It's too late. Revolution has already started. Let's not destroy the infrastructure that we have built. I thank the security agencies for the peace that have been restored in Ephraim. We have empowered the Egede, Egedege and Mbo community. No able people should be killed any longer. Yeah, because the because ESN have chased out the the herdsmen out of that place. That is why you are you are, you are saying this. We have not deployed a bubago in the southeast. I said it doesn't exist at all. We will launch it from one state to the other. Yes. So let, let let's come back to 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 this man. You know 
This man is one of those that, one of the governors that the Janjaweed, the Caliphate, promised to be president 2023, or at least vice president 2023. If he could hand over a boy land to Fulani Hesman for Ruga. And he did so. He started protecting the Fulani Hesman. And these people continued to attack, to kill, pillage, rape the citizens of Eboy. He was comfortable. No reaction of any kind. Not until when Eastern Security Network was established by Nandekano and they started fighting and fighting and chased these people out. Then he knew that, yes, there is a problem. With the presence of this Eastern Security Network, this man feels that his power, that authority, that power which he wants to acquire from the presidency, has eluded him. And now, another set of revolutionists stepped in, known as Onungo men. They started fighting against the police and the army. So this man saw that his security has eluded him. It is then that his eye cleared and he's not seeking for peace. He wants people to negotiate with. It is also very clear to him now that guerrilla war has started. He knows now that 2023, that 2023, he showed his conscience because of it, is over. He's telling other politicians, those of you that has not woken up, is still dreaming of 2023. Look at this man, very ambitious of 2023. He knows what he collected from the Janjaweed government to be the president. He's telling you now that there will be no 2023. So if you, you as a politician, looking for how you be president, uh, legislator, uh, vice president, or governors, forget about 2023 because all of you are, what, in a mess. Now he realized that the children are unhappy, that the youth are unhappy. If he doesn't know it, if he haven't seen it, you politicians, Omahi is telling you the reality on ground. Because revolution has started. Gorilla war has started to dethrone all these politicians. That is what is happening. It has started in the east. Boko Haram is finishing the military in the north. You people should get this into your head. Omahi has now come up to realize that this is exactly what is in place now. He's telling all of you, you rather do something. It's not even to appease, to sit down and tell the people, oh, please, 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 please. It's over that. It's gone. Time for that is over. Because these children, this youth has been demanding for better condition, better for employment for years. You people neglected everything. Instead, you brought army and this into key them. Now you are not crying. This is what you have created. And it's haunting you, all of you, right now. As it stands now, it's haunting you and a lot more is likely to happen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.